welcome to Magic Life Calabria. So straight off the bus, you arrive at the reception and make your way through. If you get there nice and early at the front of your bus queue, you'll get in pretty quick and uh, make your way up this. This is the main route from reception up towards the, the living quarters and all the rooms. You all have these wristbands to get in and out of the room rather than a key or a card. The rooms are everything you'd expect. They're, they're quite nice, pretty spacious, got the TV on the wall. A lot of foreign channels, not a lot in English, but the uh, the room itself is nice and tidy. The maids are amazing. Here we go into the bathroom. It's quite modern. Double shower, bidet, and all the bits and bobs you want. The shower's wickedly powerful, really nice. And then out the back there, you've got a pretty nice view of the gardens, overlooking some of the other accommodation. But it's uh, yeah, really nice, really nice setting. Now this door key on your wristband. Bit of a palaver. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It can be a bit hit and miss. But you've always got to make sure that you use the towel card to start the process. Make his way down here, look. Let's get over and walk towards the main area. So the, the place itself is pretty big. They keep it nice and tidy. On the right hand side here, you've got the premium lodges. A little bit con contentious, they separate some of the place off. Um, you've got the heated pool on the left hand side there, which is really nice. If it's a bit chilly in the other one, you can nip down to this one. It does get a bit busy in there though, when it is a bit chilly. If the sun goes down, that soon fills up. Right, let's make our way up to the main area. It's not too far now, we're nearly there. Here we go, just through this, uh, oh, there's a mammal. There's plenty of them about here, I tell you. The cycling is pretty big here. Oh, there you go, kids club over there, prison, otherwise known as. I'll show you a bit more of that later. We'll get a bit more detail on it. But yeah, like I saying, the cyclist, there's a lot of um, men in Lycra walking about. Here we go, look, there's the TUI office right in front of you there, near the little Fiat 500. This is kind of the main area for, in the evening, sitting around and having a few drinks if you want to sit outside. Oh my word, look, there's the grey mammal. <laughs> There's the pool, that's the main pool, uh, pool bar there, you can see. Let's have a little walk around here, look. So you've got quite a few sunbeds. Now, this is quite a, t uh, a quiet time of year, it's October. Um, there are quite a few beds empty. There have been reports on the app of the beds being taken in the high season. The main pool is pretty chilly. And this is the only time I went in here and um, I got sold off. Straight away, he was there. I was the only one in there as well, <laughs> but never mind. So, uh, here we go, look. Let's make his way over to the kids' pool. This is the little wet play area. Brilliant for the kids. Nice spray water about. Nowhere to drown yourself in there. And you've got the big splash landing kind of thing here with the water slides. Uh, really good. But as you can see, not very well used at this time of year, which was quite surprising. Well maintained and it fires up at nine o'clock in the morning and goes all the way through till five o'clock in the evening. You've got the 3G football pitch over there where they do hold a few games and the kids can play on that. It gets really hot though. And they've got the little towel office on the left hand side there. You can go and grab a towel a day so you haven't got to use your room towels and then make your way through this path to the beach. As you make your way through this tree wooded area to the beach, it takes about six minutes or so to go from uh, one end to the other. It's, it's quite a trek, but it's, it's really nice. You've got all these eucalyptus trees on one side and then it turns into the pine trees on the other. And uh, you go through the archery centre cent halfway, but you've got all the little gecko lizards and as you're walking along, you can hear them all scattering either side. So they're just, they're just running off, running off at all directions. We can hear it's like scurry, scurry, scurry. <laughs> it's quite, quite entertaining. Takes the pain out of walking through here every day. There's like a chill area just down here. So as we're coming up here now on the left hand side, 
This is the chill out area with the hammocks I was telling you about. There's nobody here, it's like a ghost town. And it's really quiet in these uh, in these woods. Yeah, it's very, very eerie. And then as you come along here, you've got the archery, which again is only a couple of times a day. And uh, you're lucky if you can get on it because it is really booked up. Get yourself booked in nice and early. So we'll just do this last bit now through the pine trees. <coughs> Takes us up to the edge of the beach. It's really nice when you come out of these trees. It just opens up and there's your beach. It looks beautiful. I mean, what a setting that is. On the right hand side here, you've got the water sports hut um, and the catamarans, but you can't go on those. That's all extra. There's 150 euros for a trip out. Um, so yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. Uh, you then proceed up here and you've got in front of you the blue beds which are the normal beds and then on the other side you've got the brown beds which are for the premium guests only but you've got this nice shack with all the water sports have a listen to this hi there hi. so when the windsurfing is there a course or something for that yes it's running now of course it's uh, starting from yesterday we're going home on saturday so i've only got we've only got tomorrow uh, there's a course starting. Okay, is that it then? Next one should be next week. Next, oh, okay. Because I've done the basics. Um, uh, is that is that something that I would be able to use? You know how how to turn to go straight. To, yeah, and, yeah. I just struggle then, coming back. Yeah. <laughs> but you you can also try a fast course or a, re or a refresh course. A refresh course is that what's that? course is that you go out, you show us what you can that, do that you know how to do it. When would that be? Uh, we'll check with the chief. Yes, if you see us at the beach, uh, what is there? Then we will talk. Oh, that'd you, be great. You can also do it today if you want. Brilliant, yeah. thank you very much. Super. Cheers. So the story is you have to be licensed, you've got to have a windsurfing license. If you haven't got the license, then uh, they'll do a, um, a quick fast course where you pay 50 euros and you take one of the windsurfers out and they watch you from the beach, from their little hut for an hour uh, trying to windsurf. If you're any good, if you could do it, then they'll let you um, continue tomorrow. But uh, if you can't, if you go out there and you fall off it and you can't do it, then um, that's it, 50 euros gone. So, uh, yeah, it's been three years, so I might just leave it today and uh, come back next year. We've been out and about traveling uh, in the car for a few days, so uh, booking things wasn't an option, and I missed the boat on that one, but there you go. So I've got my snorkel on anyway, let's go and see what's in the sea. Can we find anything in here? Also managed to get out on the canoe, which was free. Although I'll talk to you about that in a bit because that wasn't as straightforward as you might think. Oh, look at that. And it was really warm, 25 degrees. Now, the only trouble is in the sea, you do have these little Medusa jellyfish and they give you a nasty sting. Now, it got me, look, on my arm there and that stayed up for four days. But don't be put off because the sea is amazing. All the activities at hotel revolve around the app. So you've got to make sure you've got that. You can book your tennis lessons your tennis your um, you can see the availability of the mountain bikes and the road bikes cycling here is top notch it, it is really good you can book the mountain bikes or the road bikes and have a decent ride out let's go for a ride they do varying levels of difficulty these trails like this one really nice and easy can't fault this mountain biking it's a great little route this end of this round. This is a beginner course. And we've gone down some roads through the woods. Along a beach path. Must be about 20 people out. It does get booked up pretty quick, so you have to make sure that you get on it nice and early. We've been really impressed with the hotel, the rooms. The maids are amazing. They're just on the ball all the time, cleaning up. The food has been absolutely stunning, really, really good quality. So this is the Magico restaurant. This is your main restaurant for breakfast, dinner, lunch, whatever. And you've got a quite a big selection. So breakfast, um, they even do a bit of breakfast pizza, believe it or not, but um, not for me. Uh, you've got on the healthy bit, eggs cooking there. She'll do 
do your omelette, um, cook it up for you if you want. Uh, you've got fried eggs, poached eggs, scrambled eggs. Coming over here, you've got another a few different kinds of eggs. Um, you've got sausages and bacon. You know what it's like, though. The um, continental bacon, it's a bit weird. You've got some dodgy beans as well. Um, <laughs> then you come over here, you've got fresh croissants and pastries. Beautiful, really nice cakes and stuff like that. You've got continental breakfast on your right-hand side. Cereal bowls over here. Um, and uh, you've got the coffee machines as well if you want a coffee now coffee is a little bit uh, it's a bit weird if you get it straight out the machine it ain't like what we have it's it's very strong so I found out that if I get a cup full of milk and then get an espresso and create my own concoction it was the only way to get a decent latte coffee but uh, you know oh look at that beautiful we'll get there in the end the gala dinner this is your main dinner Seafood is a big thing here. Lots of seafood in there. We've got seafood risotto. You've got pasta dishes. Again, cooking there. Look, chicken fillets and a bit of steak. I've got a massive salmon there. Look, fresh salmon. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely lovely that was. You've got always pizzas. There's pizzas galore. Salads. And then you've got your sweet counter as well, which is always good. The food was really good. Can't the fault it. Restaurants have been just second to none. Can't fault them at all. Lots of fish dishes, which is, I mean, I've had the tuna, which was just the best tuna I've ever tasted. Tuna, mm, giant shrimps, seafood risotto. Mm. Fish dishes with tomatoes, onions, peppers, and all that kind of stuff. Pastas lasagna lots of different lasagnas different flavored lasagnas thank you i suppose disappointment wise is the beach um it's not sandy and it's all this um kind of very fine grit but it's not sand and it's hard to walk on uh, i do like a bit of really soft cold and sand it's not too bad Highlights for us is definitely the, uh, the trip down to Tropia and the uh, Capo Vaticano. So we hired the car, which worked out to be about 50 euros a day. We had it for three days and uh, yeah, off we go. Lots of tunnels over here, it's amazing. This was a nice place. You've got Piso, which is just amazing, just down the road. Tropia, again, nice beaches. Still a bit gritty, not golden sand, but some lovely architecture and the, the place was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Capo Vaticano, again, very picturesque, very nice. Some great scenes, look at that. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And I think if we were going to come back, we would probably head down that way. That, that coastline, those bays over there, it's just beautiful. And it's just worth that extra 50 minute transfer time to get over there. Here in this Tui magic life, you're very isolated. If about five miles outside of Piso, you can't really walk there because there's no pathways. The roads are just um, straight with, with nothing either side. So it's not really a walking uh, distance. You can't walk the beach, it's really hard to walk on, so you, you are kind of cut off. You can get a, a bus at the hotel, which uh, was five euros each, but that's really limited on the pickups. You've got three pickups a day. They do a nine o'clock in the morning, I think it was one o'clock in the afternoon, and then a five o'clock coming home uh, in the evening. Evenings, nightlife. Rubbish. Silent disco, who'd have thought it? They've got like the entertainment group here, doing a bit. The show we watched the other night was um, Michael Jackson, Remember the Time, and uh, yeah, it was pretty grim, but um, <laughs> I'm not here for that, we're here for the, for the days. The water sports, it's, it's again, it's one of those, I, you find it at a lot of hotels you go to. I went over to the, um, to the water sports shack yesterday and I asked, um, is there any chance I could take a canoe out, and uh, you kind of met with a bit of a blank 
it's just a bit of a wall there you know they're not kind of like yeah yeah come on let's get you caught sorted out and get you out there it was mm, well it's a bit it's a bit windy today uh, it's, and I said well it's not that bad you know it's okay and uh, oh okay then so so the uh, the lady then says go over go over there and uh, and find a life jacket so I'm not showing you where it is so you have to go and traipse into the hook find a life jacket find a paddle and then walk down to the grassy hut thing up there and uh, and then they go to you oh no you can't go out today it's a bit it's a bit windy and a bit wavy so I says uh, she's just said I could go out so anyway eventually they, they decided okay you can go out sign here sign your life away and then they dragged the boat out and I was out there for you know, a good half an hour having a nice time and it was absolutely fine uh, but it's all that you're always if there's any kind of if it's not a mill pond they're reluctant to let anybody do anything in the sea but the only trouble is if you want to go windsurfing and there ain't no wind because it's like a mill pond like these guys here they ain't going nowhere they're just floating around not doing a great deal Great if you've never been on one before, but uh, the poor guy over there, he's actually going backwards because there's no winds are blowing forwards. Right, back to kids club, or prison. It's there, it's like Fort Knox, I don't think there's many kids escaping from here. But um, in all the time we were there, I didn't see uh, a happy child in there. I think they were all crying, make of that what you will. Now we've got the gym, which is pretty good. I mean, look at it, it's well equipped. There's loads of kit in here. If you're a bit of a gymette and you want to get yourself in here, getting fit while you're on holiday, then um, yeah, fill your boots, because it's it's pretty damn good look. All top, top notch equipment in there. If it's raining, this is absolutely rammed. And if you look really closely, you'll see in its natural habitat. Is it there? Is it there? Yes, you'll find him here. The gardener. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you see smoke coming out of the bush. It's hilarious. But you've got great tennis courts. The facilities for the tennis are amazing. Aerobics classes running every single day. People are having a lot of fun with that. Tennis lessons, again, you book your tennis lessons. Um, if you want individual lessons, it's all extra, but you can have group sessions and stuff. Downside queuing for drinks at the bar. You have to go to the main bar because the other one, the pool bar only does certain drinks, so the main bar just gets really, really busy. And then we're going home. Now, here's your wristband, if you want to just see that, pull it apart, have a look inside. There's your little tab. Dastardly little thing. But we have had a great time, and enjoy this hotel, because it is really special. It's nice. Thanks for watching. But anything won't unlock now. What you say? Oh, is that not? Oh shit! Aha! Ah!